Well, we are excited to be uh, introducing our first guest speaker. Uh, her name is Bria Larson, uh, and I have a long list of, of awards that I want to share with you. She was the silver medalist in the 100 meter and 200 meter meter breaststroke in the 2011 NCAA championships. She has a bronze medal in the 200 meter breaststroke and a gold medal in the 100 meter breaststroke uh, from the 2012 NCAA championships. She is a 2012 Olympic gold medalist in the 4x100 meter medley relay. That's a, that's a mouthful. Uh, she's the American record holder in the 100-yard breaststroke. She's a member of the United States Olympic swim team. Uh, she is our newest brand ambassador, and she is an ASEA athlete. And we are so delighted to be welcoming her uh, on the call today. Bria, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. Hey, welcome. We're so excited. We know you have a busy training schedule and you're, you're a wanted woman all over the place. Um, we're excited that you were able to join us last year at uh, our convention. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved, particularly with swimming in your life. Uh, my family is a huge summer rec swim team. Uh, that was the summer activities every, every year. Um, but I actually hated swimming until a little bit later because my sister was always better at it than I was. Um, so I played softball for a while, I played volleyball for a while, and I didn't start swimming seriously until I was about 17 years old. Um, and I just happened to have the right coach at the right time who was able to take me all the way to college. Um, and then now I'm training with Steve Boltman, which is one of the best coaches in the world. Um, and he's, he's been able to bring me really far with swimming. Uh, obviously very far with swimming. He's a great coach. Um, speaking of sisters, uh, is your sister still beating you in swimming? No, I have her now. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And you have how many sisters? I have six sisters. I'm the second oldest. Second oldest, seven mm -hmm. girls in your family. That's absolutely yeah. incredible. Um, tell us a little bit, Bria, about how you were introduced to ASEA. Um, my family is very interested in a lot of wellness products. And we had a close family friend, the Van Balaguis, introduce ASEA to me my senior year, right when I started club team. Um, and I was a little skeptical about it for a while, um, you know, just seeing that it was it was salt water and it tasted like pool water, but I was used to tasting pool water every day. So I thought, what the heck? So um, I went ahead and tried it out and some great things started happening. Um, I started dropping time while I start while I was in my swimming season and I brought it with me to college and I continue to use it and um, I've used it ever since. But. I was very, very happy that um, it got brought into my life through the family circuit of wellness products. Um, Bria, so when you talk about um, your training and your, um, your workout routine, how much of sea are you drinking on a daily basis? Uh, this year, uh, because it's an Olympic year, I upped it a lot. So I drink a lot of the pouches. Um, so I probably have... One pouch per practice, I try and drink. They're eight ounces, and so I try and drink about four ounces before and after practice. Um, and then usually uh, right when I wake up, I try and have about two or three ounces. And then during while I'm racing, I try and have eight ounces before and after every race. And that has made the biggest difference. Um, it is there's <laughs> For any of you who have played sports in general, um, you can attest to the lactic acid and just the sheer pain your body goes through <laughs> to perform well. Um, but I've noticed that drinking a lot of ASEA, like a lot of ASEA, um, has made a huge difference in my recovery. Um, and I don't feel nearly as much pain after my races when I'm warming down. Awesome. Um, one of the things that I know a lot of people are going to want to know is how, how can they follow you and your career? Do you have a Facebook page that we can watch? Do you uh, have a Twitter account? How can we keep up with everything you're doing? Yeah, um, I have Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, I'm trying to do better with my Facebook updates, um, but I post a lot on Twitter and Instagram. Um, and all of my handles are just Brie Larson as it's spelled, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Awesome. Um, and you know what? I think I just noticed that I've got your name spelled wrong. You are S-E-N. Is that correct? S-E-N no. or S-O-N? It's, it's S-O-N. You got it. Oh, fantastic. Um, so you guys, you can find information. I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> you can find information about Bria on our aseaglobal.com site. Um, but here's something that I wanted to chat with Bria about. 
um, that you may not have been expecting. You know, most of us look at Bria, and of course, I mean, this world-class athlete, Olympic athlete, and she has shared her story about uh, her Asia story, right? Um, I'd actually love, Bria, for you to share a little bit about what it's been like for you to become that athlete. Talk to our folks a little bit about the daily activities that you have to engage with. Um, I mean, when you get a cold, are you still practicing? If you're not feeling great, are you still practicing? Um, if your coach is kind of in your face about something, you know, are you still practicing? Share a little bit about what it means for you on a daily basis to become a world-class athlete. Uh, consistency is probably the main thing. And I think no matter what profession you're in, um, there are some key points that you should always follow. Um, because I, I love a quote that I heard a while ago that, in your youth, you spend all of your, or you spend all your time to make money, and then when you're old, you spend all your money to become healthy. Or sorry, <laughs> you you risk your health to become wealthy, and then you risk your money to become. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, yeah. that sounded really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense. It's it's a you risk your health to become wealthy, and you risk your wealth to become healthy, or something probably. So sorry, you you risk your health to become wealthy, and then you risk your wealth. To gain your health back. Yeah. So <laughs> the importance behind it is um, I've, I've learned from a lot of mentors of mine that staying healthy is a huge thing. So making sure that I have enough sleep every night, really, really sacrificing even time management to make sure that I go to bed at a decent hour um, and making sure that I have a solid breakfast, a solid lunch, a solid dinner or whatever fuel that you need throughout the day. And I don't think that's just for athletes. I think it should be with everyone. Um, just making sure that you're taking care of your body, you're fueling your body. Your body is a machine that you need to take care of. Um, it is your livelihood to see. Uh, but other than that, um, just staying consistent and trying to stay motivated in everything you do. Um, there are going to be days where you don't feel as great and you just have to kind of push through the grind of it and um, just never never say no, basically. And it, it does get... Um, very difficult sometimes. Sometimes it may the road may seem even a little lonely, but it's definitely worth it towards the end with the end results. Um, thank you, Bria. What uh, what can we expect uh, to see from you as a brand ambassador? Are we gonna are we gonna be seeing you at events? Where can we see you next? Um, right now, I'm working with Bob Fries to see if I can go to the national convention in Orlando. It is during a swim meet, and so I'm going to see if I can hop in during the middle of the swim meet to come and say hi. Um, but other than that, I hope there are more events that I can attend because I, I really love working with people that go there and be able to answer questions and just um, explain to everyone how amazing this product is. I love it. Um, you know, Bria, when you and I were chatting the other day, you mentioned um, a couple of things that um, you enjoyed about working with the ASEA team. Could you share a little bit about what you're enjoying so far about being a brand ambassador and working with the, the team here at ASEA? Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the things uh, that I love about the product itself, though, is that it's, it's very pure and it's very clean. Um, it's really important to me as an athlete to be able to know what I'm putting in my body. Uh, when I look at a supplement and I see 70 ingredients and I don't recognize 80% of them, I can't trust it. Um, I get drug tested a lot throughout the week, um, and I need to be able to know with confidence what I'm putting in my body. And so I love that the product is so clean and I love working with the uh, group with Adesia because I feel like they're very invested. They care a lot. Um, I've never had any problems with them. They've always been extremely um, helpful. I remember in 2012, uh, they actually hired an NCAA lawyer to make sure that it was okay to help send my grandparents to the Olympics. And that was the most wonderful thing they could ever have done. I, you know, just seeing that they care that much about my career and where it was heading and where it could go um, meant the world to me. And I was so excited to be finished with NCAA so that I could try and get a partnership with them and just help the brand out more. Well, we're very excited that uh, this journey for you has led us um, to partner together as a brand ambassador. Um, we wish you the absolute best. You know you have thousands and tens of thousands of brand new fans rooting for you as we run into an Olympic year. So Bria, thank you so much for being with us. Um, we wish you the best and I know that we'll, we'll be talking very, very soon. Thank you very much.